Okay, so here's the original post. Mm -mm. I would like to create a looping animation that has dots moving along a rectangular path with rounded corners, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I do not know how to make a single continuous path. There is no join function in animate as an illustrator. There is, but there it's not called join and it's not as complicated as illustrator. But anyway, I don't think you need join. You don't even need a stroke in this case, but um, I'd appreciate suggestions on how to create the desired marquee effect, whether by using dashed lines or some other hopefully non-laborious method. Okay, so this is what I came up with. Um, pretty simple, not a lot of labor involved. It's just using two keyframes and one symbol. That's really it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. If this is even remotely close to what you're looking for, it's not using a stroke. It's not using joining strokes, nothing like that. So here, I'm going to go to create new document, hit create. And let's actually go with a dark black um, background for this. And right here in the main timeline, I don't know why my cursor is acting a little funny. I'm going to grab the oval tool and I'm going to turn off stroke and I'm going to, this color is fine, but for the default light off color, just go with the dark gray like this. And we just created a circle shape, right? Oval shape, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go up to modify. I'm going to convert this to a symbol. It has popped up on another screen, so let me drag that over. Convert to symbol, let's call it light. Now, let's actually align it to the center of the stage. That's not critical, but it's gonna help a little bit. Um, double click, and now we're inside of the light symbol, okay? I'm gonna go to frame five and hit this insert keyframe button. And while it's selected, I'm gonna go over here to my properties panel click on fill and let's give it a nice bright yellow color. And now what I'm going to do is insert frame. So I have a total of eight frames. So frame one, the gray circle, frame five, this yellow on bulb circle color like that. Okay. So it's just going to flash. If we were to loop this, there's a couple of ways of looping, by the way, while we're here, this button here and drag that. So it spans all the frames and just press play. If you just want to have this looping on a sort of a global setting, just loop playback under the control menu and it'll just loop back every single timeline for however long those timelines are. Okay, that's, I digress. So now let's go same number of frames out here on the main timeline. We have eight. I'm gonna just select or just click once on the symbol, the light symbol that we created that has if, uh, that nested animation, right? And I'm going to say loop, uh, that's good. And first frame one, that's fine. All right, now what I'm going to do is just hit Command C, copy it, paste it in place, and holding down Shift and the right arrow key. Let's go that many. All right, so now I'm going to select both, copy, paste in place, which is Control Shift V or Command Shift V. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just even evenly spacing them apart. Select them all again. I'm sort of exponentially copying and duplicating these. Holding down shift. Now I'm using the left arrow key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Okay. So there's that. Now what I'm going to do is copy, paste, and place all of these, but I'm going to go down, shift, down arrow. And let's create this bottom row and go about like that. This may not be the sort of the height and ultimately the width of your marquee, but this will just give you the right idea. And then you can customize it based on how you want. While I'm, these are all selected, I mean, going uh, to, I think, yeah, just leave them as is. It's fine. Let's grab this one, copy, paste in place, bump, 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 bump it up. And once again, just going to create a square. Okay, 
that's about right. Um, it doesn't have rounded corners. If I want to simulate rounded corners, maybe bump these out a little bit. I'm going to copy the, these and just move them out to the left side. But for now, let's just center them. Okay. So now if we play this, they're just going to flash because all of these are instances of the same symbol. Okay. They're all instances of, as you can see, light, no matter which one I click on. And if we double click, we know, and remember, we have on frame one, the gray circle, and on frame five, the yellow circle. So now what we want to do is let's go, let's start here, hold down shift. I'm going to click and select this first one. And then I'm going to all, go every other circle while holding down shift and select every other one. Boom. Oh, we're almost done. And now what I'm going to do is say, you know what? I want you to loop, but start playing on frame five. Now, when we play it back, you have your marquee animation. And that's how I did the original one, which is, has just smaller circles and um, just a lot more of uh, the lights for um, a better effect. Uh, what another thing you could also do is select them all go up to modify, convert all of them to a symbol, hit OK, double click it, insert the, the enough frames in the timeline here to just uh, to accommodate or support the number of nested frames inside the light itself. So this place, now the idea of, of that is that now we have this marquee that we can scale. I'm holding down shift to constrain the proportions, but you get the idea. So there you go. That is how I um, created this marquee effect with not a lot of labor involved as far as I'm concerned. Hope this helps. Um, and again, you could spend a lot more time um, perfecting, let's say, these lights. You could even go into it, create a new layer. Let's take, I don't know, let's just actually take the brush tool and white. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Turn on pressure sensitivity. Nope, let's do this. I never know if pressure sensitivity is on or not. And let's actually bring down some of this opacity and just do that. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, if we take this, take one of these and just drop it on here, we could even turn on, I think if we turn on snap, it'll snap to it a little bit. You can get close and you'll feel it snap. And now take copy and paste, start all over and just create a new marquee that, um, can, is sort of using this uh, line as a guide. Move that here. Actually, it's not snapping for some reason on the corner. For whatever reason, I'm going to hold down Option. If you don't need to be that precise, just hold down Option, click and drag, duplicates it. And you can just go down the line. So pretty quick and easy. If you ask me, whoops, space that out. Almost there. Okay, maybe one more right there. Okay. Now, again, hold down shift. These are all set to start playing on five. So again, every other light, while holding down shift, I'm just clicking. 
every other happy little light. And boom. Now let's just drag that across so that they start playing on frame one. We can hide that guide layer, let's so to speak, for all intents and purposes. Let's guide it out so it doesn't show up. Uh, and boom, there we go. So that is my solution or method or technique of using just one nested symbol with two keyframes and uh, to create a marquee effect. So um, yeah, hope this helps. Thanks.